I have been doing used car check, a side hustle for past year. If you have OBD to scanner, it is very easy way to not just make money, but also help your customers. So here are my five quick tips on what to check with OBD to scanner when inspecting used vehicle before buying. Number one tip is you can actually detect odometer frauds and real car mileage using OBD2 scanner. And don't worry, you don't need expensive scanner, you actually do it with cheap tool as $50. Now about that tool later, but what you are doing essentially, you are going through hidden vehicle data. Vehicle has multiple control modules, each control module has its separate data list. And in some of these control modules, you can find separate mileage values and then you compare it with odometer. I was able to discover odometer fraud multiple times, which resulted in very generous discount for customer. So I was doing inspection for customer. We found that there were differences in the mileage and I was able to get him 5,000 euro discount which was like 20 or 25% of total price. Now, which tool I use to do this mileage check, I share in my course, I will link it below. It is check used car with OBD scanner course. You can read more information, but right now let's move to tip number two. And that is checking MIL status, so malfunction indicator light, also known as check engine light. Sometimes the car you are checking might have check engine light on, but you don't see it on dashboard. And that is because somebody maybe took out the bulb or painted it with black color so you cannot see it, or did some other trick so you will not see check engine light when it's on. However, if you check with OBD scanner, it tells you if MIL, so check engine light, is on or off. So if you see in scanner, check engine light on, but you don't see it on dashboard. Seller is definitely hiding some fault because he was going through the trouble of removing the dashboard control light manually. Now, did you know that you can make professional diagnostic report with information of all control modules and even pictures by using $50 scanner? I have full PDF that explains how to do it and also gives you full diagnostic checklist of things you need to look at when buying used vehicle. Full PDF guide to do this will be linked below. Go download it. Now, the tip number three on checking used vehicle with OBD2 scanner is doing VIN number check. Always check out the VIN number. You can find it even with basic scanner. Just go to mode 9, vehicle information and read the VIN number that is assigned to your engine control module. Then you will compare this VIN number to one that is on your chassis, either in the interior or it might be on your car's windshield from outside and then compare it with car papers. Ideally, you want all of these three to match. However, sometimes you can get ECU replaced and maybe there will be different VIN number. I never seen it because usually they match it, but you could potentially see different VIN number for ECU. That can be okay. I mean, you can use it to knock down the price because ECU was replaced. But if you see that chassis VIN number and VIN number in your car's papers don't match, definitely don't buy the car. Tip number four, you can use basically any scanner that supports engine live data to check out expensive components of your engine. If you are buying cheap car, the seller might already take out the catalytic converter from vehicle, sell it separately because you can sell converter for good money and then he's trying to sell car without converter. How you can check is look on your oxygen sensor 1 and oxygen sensor 2 data. If you have catalytic converter there will be some change especially if you look at those graphic values. So oxygen sensor 1 should be oscillating up and down while the sensor 2 should be more stable and not copy exactly what sensor 1 does. If these two sensors graphs look exactly the same, that means that there is nothing going on between sensors and you don't have working catalytic converter or there isn't any. Maybe there is just pipe and catalytic converter was already removed. And then tip number five, go to engine live data one more time and find the distance since DTC cleared. This will give you an idea when last time the codes were cleared and you can see when you go check used vehicle and you find in live data that distance since DTC cleared is like five kilometers. That means the seller deleted the code just yesterday or today and you know he's hiding some fault. In that case you want to go on test drive and really test the vehicle, try high RPM, try highway, try make that fault to appear again so you can scan it with scanner and see what is going on. 
I have been doing it for last year, since I have a lot of scanners, you already know that, and I also made a course that teach you how to do full diagnostic inspection and make professional used car check report and give it to your customer. This is very easy side hustle because you can charge like from 100 to 200 euros per vehicle and I will teach you how to do these reports and full checks with tools for less than 100 dollars. So if you are interested go check out this course, it will be linked below the video in description or comment.